Good start. Lost a flight from Formula Sports, the 2002 BDO World Champion Tony David Darts Review begins right now. Alrighty guys, darts review time. And I tell you what, I think we got a pretty good video for you today. Going back to 2002, the BDO World Championship, Tony David ended up winning the title. The guy was like a 66 to one outsider to win. First Australian to pick up the title as well. And first non-European to win the BDO World Championship since John Part won it back, I think it was like 1994. So what a fairy tale story that was. I'm going to have a link down to Wikipedia. It's going to take you over to the 2002 BDO World Championship. It's worth a read because, yeah, such a remarkable tournament this guy had. But, yeah, in today's video, I'll be reviewing the newly released Tony David darts from Formula Sports. Beautiful set of golden titanium nitrate coated barrels. And as you're going to see in the stats and dimensions, kind of unusual as well. I don't think I've ever seen a barrel quite like this. But, um... As far as where you get them, I think they're widely available over in Australia, maybe at the box stores and obviously in the dart shops. As far as where you get them in the UK or the United States, I really have no idea. So what I'm going to do, I'll have a link down below in the pinned comment. It's going to take you over to Formula Sports and you can inquire over there about how you can get your hands on a set. So um, with that being said, let's hop right into it. We'll take a close up look. Again, those unusual stats and dimensions hit you with a grip level. And then after that, we'll get them on the board and... I'll see how I can throw the Tony David darts from Formula Sports. So, here we go. All righty, let me show you this packaging. We'll take a quick peek at the darts and then straight into the stats and dimensions. But we have a pretty much typical cardboard hand case here. You know what? I've said this in other videos, though, but it's nice to see Tony's picture on the packaging. There are some other companies that will release a set of pro player darts and not even have the common courtesy to put their picture on the packaging. So, yeah, well done there. But you guys came to see these darts, right? So let's take a peek here. Beautiful golden titanium nitrate coated barrel. We've got the formula logo right there. Black coated points up front and obvious a bulbous barrel here. Wait till you see the stats and dimensions. I tell you what, they are definitely unusual for sure. On the back end, they did come with a set of nylon stems. Kind of a bizarre, or kind of a different length. These are 46.5 millimeters not including the thread, so kind of a short medium. And on the back end, we've got Tony's Rose Flights, standard size 100 micron on the back there. So um, that's the darts, but let's get a little closer look and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions you really need to know. Okay guys, I've got some really interesting stats and dimensions to share with you today. And you know what? I have never seen dimensions quite like the ones that I'm about to share with you. These are some bizarre barrels for sure, but we're gonna start with the points like we always do. They come with a rather short set of black coated points. They only stick out of the barrel 26 millimeters in total. Now, as far as the barrels go, we've got a golden titanium nitrate coated barrel, 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming in a rather short 40.3 millimeters long. In the barrel width, right on this multi ring on the front end, 8.25 millimeters wide. So, hey, I hope you guys really appreciate the 180 that I'm about to hit a little bit later on in the video. That's going to be kind of challenging, right? Now, check this out. I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth. These are drilled out a whopping 26.8 millimeters deep in the back end, making these barrels, ready for this, about 68% hollow, which, yeah, that's, that's insane. That makes them extremely front-loaded, so definitely going to be interesting to throw these things. Now, as far as the match weight goes, they're advertised as 21 grams. Match weight was pretty good. The lightest barrel, 21.05. The other two barrels... 21.10 so yeah only five one hundredths of a gram off from lightest to heaviest that's pretty good so um yeah let's get a little closer look i'll tell you about the basic grip on here and then we'll get them on the board see how they fly okay let me hit you with a grip level here and i think it's pretty obvious with this set of barrels i mean we're only dealing with what's that seven machined rings into the barrel you can definitely feel them i mean they're not super sharp but yeah you can definitely feel them and i think if you're gripping Kind of right there, it's going to be a nice reference point right behind that bulba section. I mean, or you could go right on top. But yeah, as far as a grip level, fairly mild overall. I'll say grip level 2.2 on a scale of 1 to 5. Now, check this out. 
I have not even thrown these things for a single turn. So when we get them on the board, I'm not sure what stems and flights I'm going to use. I'd really hate to bash up the stock stems and flights. But um, yeah, let's get them on the board and see how they fly. You guys saw the dimensions. 8.25 millimeters wide with a short point. This ought to be interesting. So uh, yeah, let's get them on the board. See how they fly. Okay, well, that was an interesting warm-up. I just finished filming the last clip that you're about to watch, so you know what's coming, right? But I used the stock setup, everything as it came out of the package. With the exception, I did add the Trident 180 nose cones to the front end. I just didn't want to damage these beautiful rose flights. So, yeah, totally stock out of the package. Now, during the time that it took me to hit the last clip that you're about to watch, I have three major takeaways with these barrels, and let me tell you about that. But the first one... These are 21 grams, right? So I think we can all agree that 21 grams is a pretty light dart, right? Well, oh, hold on a second here. Oh. So yeah, 21 grams is a light barrel, but these things, it honestly feels like I'm throwing bricks up at the board. They just feel way heavier than 21 grams for whatever reason. And oh, by the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but they come in 21. 23 and 25 grams. I couldn't imagine the 25 grams, although I suspect the 25 gram version probably not drilled out as deep. So that's how they probably adjusted the weight for each set. Not entirely sure, but so um, yeah, the one major takeaway, they just feel heavier than 21 grams. The second one, these are most certainly front loaded as my darts generally or typically stick straight out of the board 90 degrees. These are standing up quite a bit. So Absolutely no question how front-loaded this barrel is. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's standing up quite a bit for me. Oh, hey, is that a back-to-back -back 140 out of the gate with a lost flight? Let's see. Oh, hey, look at that. So they do group tight. Those are stacked right on top of one another. Wow. One of the negatives, though, these stems are not holding the flights. You know, I have a, a punched flight video. I don't even know if I, I, I think I can find the thumbnail, but um, if you want to punch your flights, that solves the problem of them popping off all the time. You might increase the likelihood of a Robin Hood, but yeah, nothing wrong with punch flights. A lot of the professionals use punch flights. Um, so what was that? The one takeaway, heavy. What was the other one? Oh, they definitely front loaded. The third takeaway, it's a remarkably easy dart to throw. There's only, you know, with such a short barrel, there's only so many places you can grip it, right? Either right on that bulbous section in the front or slightly behind it, which that's where I'm gripping. And yeah, it's just a really easy dart to throw, honestly is. Comes off the fingertips, nice and clean. Oh, hey, where's that going? Come on. All right, 81. What is this? You know, that's funny. It feels, that second dart felt exactly like the first one, but it landed a mile away. It happens sometimes, right? All right, what was that? Three, three turns. Yeah, they, they feel really nice. It's hard to believe these things are over eight millimeters wide. Oh no. Going downhill, guys. It started good. 140, 140. Ooh. All right, last one. Concentrate. Let the dart, let the flight do the work. Nice, easy throw. Let's see what happens here. Ah, there we go. Back in. Oh, ah. oh hey, there we go. Hey, three out of those five turns featured two trebles. So... I will take it. 125, 140, 140, 81, not too bad, 45, eesh. then uh, 125 there. So hey, as you see, they're throwing really well. And I gotta, I gotta add this, because I don't think I said it at the end, but if you're worried about the chunkiness of this barrel, just add longer points. You put some long points on here, and they're going to group tight. So um, we'll leave it at that. Let's roll into this 180. Yeah, we hit a 180 with these things. And uh, we'll do a quick wrap up. We are out of here. Hey, that was pretty cool.
Boom! You ready for the time check? I've been recording for eight minutes, 59 seconds, nine minutes right there. I missed right at three minutes. That was my first miss. I missed again somewhere around seven minutes and then right there at spot on right at nine minutes since I started recording. Not too bad. I didn't, I wasn't entirely sure how long I'd be here with these 8.25 millimeter wide darts. Oh, those black points stick in the board really, really well. All right, I think I got out of that one pretty easy. What do you guys think? But there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the close-up look and review of the Formula Sports, the newly released Formula Sports Tony David darts. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs up for that 180 because, yeah, with short points and 8.25 millimeter wide barrels, not the easiest thing to squeeze in there, but we got it done in the end. Uh, reminder, link down below in the pinned comments going to take you over to Formula Sports. If you're not in Australia, you can inquire about where you can get a set. And I probably have a link down below. Did I mention the Wikipedia page? Definitely worth a read because it is a fairy tale story of him winning that 2002 BDO World Championship. So I guess I got to give these things a recommendation how well I think they're going to work for a recreational dart player. Yeah, I don't think so here. They're just, it's such an unusual shaped barrel, but all I can say is it was much easier to throw than I ever imagined. Um, there's not many places to grip it, so it's, yeah, it's such an easy dart to throw. Not much thinking involved, but way too short, way too wide, and probably way too front-loaded for most players. I'm going to go ahead and give them a score of, let me know if you think this is fair, 5.8 out of 10. It's just not a dart for everybody. However, if you like these type of barrels, the little short, thick barrels, then give it a try. It's, uh, it's a lot more fun than I expected it to be. So that's it for the video, guys. Until next time, we'll catch you on the next video. This board is firm. Later. <laughs>